guys and welcome to my video. This video, as you may have guessed, is all about this, the Corsair Vengeance 1300 analog headset. Now while you've got to put plenty of money into your computer to make it run the way you want it to run, when you think about it, it's your peripherals that you're going to be using all the time, your keyboard, mouse, monitor, and of course your speakers or headset. And if you're going to be using your headset for a long time, then you're going to need to invest in a really nice one. Maybe this one. Now when you buy a headset you've got to make a choice. Do you want a USB one or do you want an analogue one? And I'll be going into more detail on which one you should choose in another video. But this is an analogue one. So the box itself is quite nicely presented but let's be honest not a lot of people actually get to see it. Most people will just order it online. And on the back, pretty simple, pure audio reproduction for pure gaming excitement. I'm not really sure that it's exciting but yeah, okay. And it says on the front it's intensive gaming with audiophile quality. Now I very much doubt that because even my home cinema system probably wouldn't please audiophiles as such. But we won't actually know until we've tested it out. Technical specifications, its frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, impedance is 32 ohms and its dynamic range is 95 decibels. But the main thing is that its drivers are 50 millimeters and that is something that not a lot of headsets do, especially the lower end ones. Now this headset is available for around £55 in the UK. Now one interesting fact about it is that the microphone is a noise cancelling condenser. What that means is, obviously when you use a headset it means that other people aren't going to be able to hear your noise. But what this headset also does is it stops any noise around you from interfering with your game. As the headset will actually counteract any noise around you by playing the opposite signal down the headset which it picks up from the microphone, so you won't actually be able to hear if anyone's screaming at you, which is probably a good thing. Let's hope the house doesn't burn down. On the back, pretty simple. What's inside? Just the headset. The Vengeance 1300 gives you gaming audio the way it was meant to sound. Accurate, detailed and compelling, and all of this other stuff. But it does claim that it's the gaming headset your high quality sound card deserves, and I will be going into that a bit more later on, but let's actually open up the box because of course an analogue headset is very much dependent on your sound card. The better the sound card, then the better the headset should sound. But of course the headset's got to be good quality to start with. A little bit of paper here, stop, do not return this product to a store, so you, it comes with a two year warranty. So if you're going to return it, return it to Corsair and they will honour your two year warranty, otherwise you only have one year with the place that you bought it, more warranty stuff. Uh, yeah, more, more warranty stuff, three different bits of paper, and then there's this, which is the headset itself. And nicely packaging, it seems like a nice little cardboard, which means that it's environmentally friendly. Headset should just pop out like so. It's got a nice long cable, which is a good or a bad thing. Can't really be so much of a bad thing, but if you're going to use it on the front panel, which you probably are, it might mean you have a bit of baggage, but that's not so bad, you'd rather have that than if you didn't. Um, the headset itself, very, very nice. Very, very premium. Feels very nice. It is a plastic, but nice, solid, high quality plastic. These cups rotate like so, that way. Uh, obviously, you've got the microphone, which does bend. People said it doesn't, but this microphone will bend the way you want it to bend. And the top has got foam on the top and plenty of foam on the bottom. Of course, other than the sound quality, the main thing with the headset is whether it's actually comfortable. And um, obviously I wear glasses, which isn't fantastic for wearing things like headsets and glasses, or 3D glasses that is, but this actually seems to be very comfortable so far. I will do a proper test, but it doesn't actually clamp over my glasses, which a lot of us nerds, not you're not saying you're a nerd, but you know, if you subscribe to this channel then you are maybe that way inclined. It's very, very comfortable so far, but we'll go into that more later and it doesn't clamp down on my glasses frames. As for these, which are of course the connectors, you've got the pink microphone and the greeny yellow 3.5, both 3.5 jacks, one for the headphone, one for the microphone, and these will plug into your sound card or of course your front panel. So you've got plenty of, plenty of cable, it says three and a half meters, nice braided cable, nice high quality cable. Moving down this lovely braided cable you come to a quite a nice matte soft touch controller. It's not a powered headset because it's not USB and you've got a volume control which goes up and down obviously 
and then you've got your microphone on and off. All you need really, there's not really anything you need on my previous really, really cheap and nasty headset. Um, you had a couple extra buttons, that was a USB one, but I never used any of those extra buttons. The only ones I would use is volume up and down, and microphone on and off, which is all you need. And that is pretty much it so far for this unboxing. As I can say so far, it seems comfortable, seems well built. Looks very nice, nice and stylish. Looks like it will last quite a while. You'd be the judge of that, obviously. Probably look a bit stupid, but I don't know. I don't care. I'm looking at a computer. Well, you're looking at me. Get over it. Very comfortable. You'd be the judge. And that pretty much wraps everything up. It seems comfortable. Nice cable. Nice inline remote. And it looks like it's going to last a long time and it's going to fit your head because the cups are very, very big. Now, an unboxing isn't going to tell you that much about the product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the usual eight days with the product and I'll be using it, using it most days, probably every day. I'll be putting it through its paces, watching some movies, playing some games and listening to some music and I'll be doing that for extended periods of time. So I'll be able to tell you whether it sounds good, whether it's comfortable and whether the microphone's actually any good at all. Thank you for watching this video and if you are interested in purchasing a headset, keep an eye out for the next video that I have coming up very soon, which will just be a simple buyer's guide to a headset because there actually is a fair amount to think about when you're buying your headset. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.